Hello Power Users! So today I want to create a quick tutorial about the date picker and on this date picker video I want to talk a little bit about start of the week, about format, about the default date, about on change on the uh, on our date picker and how to use our date picker value. So this will be hopefully quick. So let's start, let's go to the chase. And we have a simple date picker. First of all, what we want to do with this date picker is to you is to create a default date which user will see when they just first encounter with this date picker. So first of all, what we we've got a couple of options. One option is just to set the starting date, for example, nine uh, nineteen seventy first January. Why we don't doesn't see this uh, on this date picker? I will tell you next. This is our our basic option. Let's create another one to see. Hop, just to start fresh, and you can set also the default date as today. What does it mean exactly? Today means that you will have the time based on just just midnight of today. So this is important because if you have any time zone problems, like you are working in in minus time time zones, then you can have the different date here. So remember to set it correctly at the start when you are documenting your project. How will the date be set in your country? Because sometimes the the date can be also picked based on the on the local. So how to change this locally? Well, you can use also the now function. And now function is the same as today for, for you probably, but you can see that the time is visible here. So if I will change the format, which I will do next, you will see the time if I use the now function instead of the today function. So this is one thing. Next, let's go to the format because this is interesting. So in the format date, you can in the format you can format the date time format. And if you place the dot, then you will see all the options. So we have basically two options, which is the short date and the long date. And the short date means just it will be just the date, right? And but the long date give us some more options. Oh, let's go with the long date, which means that we will have the option to to, to check uh, our day, our name of the day in our language. Then we can use also the the language option, the language option, and this language option, which will give us the option to select language. So, for example, I'm basically the default is just the English, but I can change it to French. And as you can see, the language is now in French. So this is this is what the language is for. If you uh, will clear it, it will go back to English. So let's go back to the format because long date and short date. You now see how it works. If you will also, but you can also use the the time option. And about this time option. So if I go with the short date and time. As you can see, we also got the time here, but it doesn't support the the local. Like it will be still at midnight because this is the date picker, not the date and time picker. Sadly, this is con this control just behaves like this, and I don't know any kind of workaround for this to actually show the time properly. If I'm mistaken, then you can you can check in the comment and and tell me if I'm wrong, but I think I'm not. So in order, if you want to really set up the time, you have the option to create drop downs. <laughs> and yeah, this is terrible. Do, 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 input drop down. And in this drop down, you can so you can create the selection of of minutes of hours, etc. And this will be this, you will have to record this elsewhere in your in your database combined maybe from from the date picker and from our picker and minutes picker etc so this is about the format 
Next, we've got also the on change. The on change is just like the on change on other on other controls in Power Apps. Most of the times, you will use this to set the co or when user change something, then you want to reflect this change in the database, in SharePoint, etc. So probably you will just go with the patch. You, for example, if it's collection, then you, you will patch your collection. You will, if it's in the gallery, you will use this item. If it's not the gallery, you have to look up for your specific, specific record in your collection. And in the third argument, you will have to change whatever the name of the of the column is to this this date picker three dot nothing uh, after the dots sorry date picker three dot there was something selected date for example this will be probably how this patch will looks depending on of course on your on your source. So this is the on change function, which is really important. And then you will have will have reset, which can reset this based on some criteria that we will set. Start of the week. Start of the week here, which will you will set the day which will display first. So if I will go with Monday, then as you can see, I will have the Monday here. If I will go with something different like Saturday, why not? Oh, then we'll start from the Saturday. Yeah, so if you know how to use all the date picker already, you can also create something based on this date picker just by using the the date picker value. So we have the date picker tree and it is got selected date. If I will use it, the text will be same as I select. So if I will change this to different date, then the text will also reflect this. And you can use this value wherever, whenever you like in your application. So this is it about date picker control for the, for the beginners. I hope this was informative and you've got something from this video. If yes, you can, you know, sub, like, etc. I'm really, really enjoying all the comments and all the subs I get. I'm doing this for you. This knowledge is, of course, free. So, yeah, that's it. And hope, hope you had a great day and happy creation, happy creating date picker values <laughs> and setting the time. Not so great, right? So speaking of Fukovsky out, see you.